Hey guys, Mike here and welcome to another live unboxing. I'm gonna give this a few minutes to let people start rolling in, but we got a couple cool things to cover today. We're gonna be talking about my November box here from Trendy Butler. It says we got very bad connection. So I'm uh, just making sure we're, we're, we're continuing to push on. Uh, we're gonna be talking about the uh, live box, or we're gonna talk about the live box. We're gonna be talking about my box from Trendy Butler. And uh, I'm gonna unbox that for you right now. And then after that, we're also gonna be talking about the giveaway that I promised from Damon Barber. So uh, hint, hint, surprise, we're doing the Damon Barber giveaway right here on the video. So I'm just kind of chilling. Grab yourself something to drink, a nice comfy chair, and I'll wait for people to start rolling in. If you wanna, the Kick Pro, hi, what's up man, how are you? Drinking me a nice cold root beer today. What I got in my hair today, um, I discovered another weird combination this morning. Uh, I started with a little Silver Fox from By the Lane. I put that, ran that through, and then I noticed that I needed a little bit more, but instead of stab grabbing a second scoop of Silver Fox, I actually just put a little uh, treatment styling ball from Morse Motley in there to finish it off. So I used both of them. I think it came out pretty cool. So I'm discovering all these weird combinations every day now. So that's pretty, pretty cool. Fun to experiment. My uh, phone here is telling me that we have a very bad connection. So if everybody, anybody that's here can hear me okay, everything's sounding good, um, say something or send me a message, let me know everything's good and we'll press on. But I'm almost weary that uh, I don't want to be chopping in and out and going through the whole thing. Noah Anderson, what's up, buddy? Can you hear me okay? Everything sound good? Digging the new quiff. Thanks, man. I'm uh, I'm, I'm honestly not a huge fan of it, but it uh, sounds good on your end. Okay, cool. Thanks, man. I'm, uh, I'm not a huge fan of the quiff. I, I really miss my old hairstyle, to be honest with you. I can't wait for it to grow back. But, I mean, I don't, I don't really hate it, per se. Um, but I guess I'm just not as confident in it, but... I, I, I keep getting told that it looks good, so that's uh, that's a good thing. So uh, I think we got some people in here now. Let's go ahead and start unboxing this box here. This is the November box from Trendy Butler. I have unboxed for them for several months now. We went through kind of a shift with Trendy Butler because a couple months ago, you guys started letting me know that some of the clothing that they were sent was, uh, I think you guys called it dad stylish or something. Uh, which I understood fully, it was kind of boring. So I had a conversation with Trendy Butler about stepping up the game a little bit and they were very receptive to that. They were they were totally fine with it. They don't pay me for a review, so I had no problem really saying that to them because you know, what the worst that could happen was they stopped sending me packages and that that's it. Which uh, you know, wouldn't have been that big a deal. But I don't get I don't get any money for this or anything like that. So let's go ahead and rip this open and see what we got for the month. Of November. Okay, so we got. I'll just pull this slip off here. We got looks like uh, another Henley and a pair of pants. Let me start with this pair of pants because I'm uh, I'm unsure about these. <laughs> Eleven Paris is the brand. Let me. Wow, these are like. I don't know if I can see myself in these. I mean, I, I'm totally for uh, branching out and kind of pushing my comfort zone, which is, you know, cool. But I've never owned pants like these, and they use a string for the belt. What do you guys think of these? They're like this white cream color. It looks a little brighter probably on the camera than they actually are. They're white-ish. And, uh, I mean, they look cool. I'll try them on. Maybe I'll post some pictures to Instagram to see what you guys think. Maybe I'll be making a fool of myself, but, you know, I don't know. Pretty nice, though. Nice, thick fabric. Never heard of the brand Eleven Paris, but uh, they feel pretty high quality. Not super thin. Nice and thick. LA collection. I totally believe that. This looks like something straight out of there. Um, this Henley. I'm a big fan of Henleys. I really enjoy 
Henleys here. So this is a Thomas Paine UK collection Henley. It's a nice thick Henley for the winter time. So you can wear it under a jacket and feel warm, which is good because it's freezing here in Nebraska now. Long sleeves, gotta have long sleeves for this time of year. Nice buttons. I really, I really enjoy Henleys with a little detail like these. Got them brass buttons right there. So digging on this, I think it's gonna fit nicely. Some of the Henleys I get from other stores, I noticed um, sometimes they say large, but they're like extra small, or they say large and they're like three X's. So these have always fit good. Trendy Butler stuff has always fit me very nicely. So. I'm really digging on that. It's almost like a sweater type thickness. Hey, what are we unboxing today? We are unboxing the uh, Trendy Butler November box from Rooster Comb. That was a comment from Rooster Comb. Trendy Butler's November box. So that's it. They just sent the two items for November is uh, one outfit, the pants and the Henley. So like I said, I'll post some pictures to my Instagram. Um, at Marman TV. if you're not following me on Instagram yet, you should, definitely should because I got you know, stuff like this and updates of the upcoming videos. And usually you can find what I'm gonna review next because I'll post a picture of it before I post the video. And uh, that's pretty much it for the November Trendy Butler box. Remember, I do have a, a link that you can follow and a code to Trendy Butler if you wanna pick them up and subscribe to their service and save a little cash. Um, they're offering my channel a specific deal. So if you want to uh, pick that up and get some clothing. Remember, I don't get any piece of that. That's just uh, that's just for you guys. How's everybody doing today? We got a couple people in here. Hope everybody's doing well. How about that new shampoo search yesterday? Everybody like that? That had been in the works for so long. I wanted to do it so long. It was unbelievable. Rooster Comb, how about, good, how about you? Pretty good. Muhammad, good morning, Mike. It's 6.15 a.m. here. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. It's 6.15 a.m. there. Wow. You're up early. I appreciate you being here. That's, I'm asleep, hopefully, at 6, 6.15 a.m. I mean, unless uh, unless my son Finn is uh, going nuts, which does happen sometimes. So I appreciate you being here. That shampoo search video yesterday, I, uh, I had the idea for it, like I said, when I stopped using Pure Dior. And... Um, yeah, you should check it out because it's it started when I stopped using Pure Dior and I wanted to just look into I got some CHI argan oil. Well, that's pretty that's pretty sweet. I've never heard of CHI but I uh, but argan oil is some good stuff for your hair, but I stopped using Pure Dior They were just really bad at communicating with me and some of you guys had reported getting hair loss from them and while I didn't have any hair loss from them my hair felt and looked awesome I thought I was concerned that some of you guys were reporting having you know different experiences and I was never getting paid by them. I never had a contract or anything. So I was like, well, why am I presenting a product that you guys aren't having the same experience as I am? So I started asking some questions and they didn't want to answer them. They just ignored me completely. And I took that as uh, well, they don't care and I'm not going to do business with people that don't care. So I'm going to start looking for other brands that I can showcase to you guys that I believe in, that are good people, that make a good product, that are healthy for your hair, that meet everything that I would want in a shampoo, and hopefully I can translate that to you guys. So the Groom Man Co. meets every one of those requirements that I had. They are just the nicest people to talk to, for one, and they make a good product. So it was a no brainer to start this segment and start it with the Groomed Man Co. So if you haven't seen that yet, go back and check that out. Another really cool brand that I have really enjoyed working with, um, what is your opinion on the trend of the buzz cut that's going around right now from Noah Anderson? Um, I don't know, I mean, some people look really awesome with a buzz cut. Um, I'm not one of those people, I look, I've always, I've had buzz cuts uh, frequently throughout my life because I was in uh, ROTC in high school and then I joined the military. Um, before I even graduated high school, I was in the army already. And uh, I had you know a buzz cut through basic and I was always told I looked funny. And then I had one in high school, I told was told I looked funny and then I had a high and tight and for some reason the high and tight looked better than the buzz cut, I don't know. But I see people constantly posting, I think some people are buzzing their hair because they think it's going to make their hair grow back healthier and 
fix whatever problem they think they're having, which it will uh, it it will grow back in a better state if you somehow like fried it or dried it out, but it will not grow back thicker. That's the thing. If you think your hair is thin, it and you buzz it to try to make it grow back thicker, that's not gonna work. It's what same thing people say if you shave your beard, it grows back thicker. That's not totally true, or else my beard would be humongous and thick. Hair is much more interesting. Yeah. Hey, Mike. How are you, buddy? It's, uh, it's good to hear from you on the video. Big uh, shout out to you. So another brand, like I was talking about, another brand that I like to do business with um, because they're just awesome people is Damon Barber. And when they came to me with the idea of reviewing for them and then doing a giveaway, I was totally for it. You guys know I'm all about giveaways and as many opportunities as I, ha as I can to do the giveaway. Um, sorry, I'm gonna take a break as I get comments here. Been using Hans de Fuco for six months. Ha does help a bit, but not much. Yeah, I, I found that too. I felt that I found that the Hans de Fuco, um, what did you shave with before your beard? I'll get to that in just a second. Um, and well, uh, Hans de Fuco shampoo I found was a, a decent shampoo. Like it didn't harm my hair or make it feel dry or, you know, totally ridiculous. Um, but what I did I just found that it didn't really add much to the table. It, it cleaned well, but it didn't bring anything to the table. And that's what I'm looking for with these shampoos is that they do a little more than just make my hair feel soft. And they take most product out. Um, and the same with the uh, Cameron. Hey buddy, what's up? What's up Mike? Cheers, Cameron Critney. How are you, pal? I look forward to doing a video with you soon if we can put together an idea. Um, but the shampoos, I'm, I'm looking for ones that bring to, that bring something to the table besides just cleaning the hair. And so uh, Groom Man Co. is on that on that level for sure. And I've definitely found some that aren't on that level, and so I haven't really pursued a lot of them. Yes, very soon. Whew, that sounds good, buddy. Uh, but Damon Barber came to me with the idea to review for them. I'm going to review for them actually very soon because I got some new stuff coming out. But they came to me with the idea for a giveaway. I'm all about the giveaways. And they actually said that they wanted you guys to choose the prize, which is the first time that's ever happened. They said do a poll and let them choose what they want, which is so awesome of a brand to do that. So you guys responded on Facebook. You can go back and look at all the answers. They're still there. And not surprising you guys chose the texture clay so i've already talked to damon barber showed him the results texture clay is going to be given out to one subscriber anywhere in the world totally free and damon barber is going to handle all that i'm going to choose the winner at random of course send that nate get your information send that over to damon barber and then they're going to throw you out a free texture clay <laughs> Of course, that's not it, though. Sorry, I'm like dealing with a cold here. Um, that's not it, though. I told I was kind of hoping that you guys would choose something for the face, like the the smoothing beard serum. That was one of my favorite products to uh, review from them. Uh, so I was hoping I saw a couple people start to comment on that. I was like, yes, good, choose that. Uh, but I couldn't influence the the giveaway in any. You know, of course, I didn't want to influence you guys. I wanted to let you guys choose what you wanted. Um, but I was secretly hoping that somebody would choose that and I told them that but you know that didn't get chosen However, Damon Barber said well, we want to we want how about we give away? Um, one more to a runner-up. How about so let's let's choose a second winner. So which is super awesome and uh, I let them choose the prize for the runner-up and even though I was hoping for uh, a skin product they decided to give away one of these which is an equally, if not even more awesome prize. This is what they call the World Traveler. It contains five, it contains all five of their products. You got in, the, in this little box, you're gonna get samples in this box. Remedy Wax, Classic Pomade, Texture Clay, Original Pomade, and Fixing Pomade. So you're gonna get the, the runner up or you know the second place if you will. Um, second winner will get one of these totally free. So how do you enter the giveaway? I just saw that pop up. It's just like 
you know, pretty much 95% of all my other giveaways. It's done right here on the video. How you enter is you comment down below. You got to like the video. You got to be a subscriber. And then you comment down below where you're watching from and why you should be chosen. That's it. Super easy. You do have to be a subscriber though. And that's the, for some reason, the biggest part that people don't get. I don't, I mean, it's not hard. <laughs> Hit the button. Hit the button, you get free stuff. That's pretty much it. Let me grab a drink here. Anybody have any questions about the giveaway? I believe I answered them all. Um, one week, I'm gonna choose the winner, one week. So right here on this video, comment down below where you're watching, why you should be chosen. You must be a subscriber, like the video. Yep, not easy enough. Love to win either from Singapore. What video do we comment on? This one right here. Um, I After it's done, the live stream, after the live stream is done, it will be posted as a regular video, thus allowing you to comment. So I'm gonna I'm gonna post this immediately after it's after it ends being live and it'll convert to a regular regular video. You're welcome, Manuel. Thanks for stopping by. Muhammad noted that. All right, buddy. Um, hope Good luck to both of you guys. Good luck to everybody else. Um, remember, we got one week. So today's Wednesday. So one week from today, I'll just comment on your comment on this video if you're a winner. And then we can go through the verification process. I always make sure that the winners are subscribers because it's happened before that they aren't. And, and uh, then I just get your information, send it over to Damon Barber, and that's it. If we are one of the first to comment, do we have a better chance of winning? No, everybody has an equal chance of winning. It doesn't matter if you're one of the first to comment. What I do is I actually take all of the names. It doesn't matter if you're one of the first or you're the last to comment. I take all the names, I put them into a random name selector generator, and it pops one out, and that's it. Totally random. Everybody has the same amount of chances to win. Doesn't matter when you comment or anything like that. So I try to give everybody the the best and fairest, if you will, of fairest opportunity. Ozark Greaser, hi Mike, hey what's up buddy, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Off topic, but do you think you could review the Levi's Shrink to Fit 501 jeans? I could look into it, I'm not opposed to it, I've never, Never had those jeans. Um, I'm very laid back when it comes to jeans. Uh, I, uh, I literally walk into JCPenney's or someplace like that and I find the jeans that have the guy, Mike Rowe from Dirty Jobs, that Discovery Channel show. Whatever jeans he's selling, I usually pick up because I just figure if they're good enough to go through all the garbage that he puts them through, then they're probably good enough for me. I find my size and I walk out. <laughs> it's usually what I do. I don't pay attention to all the different numbers and whatever. I mean, I, I, the only other thing I pay attention to is uh, I don't like boot cut. So they're just super wide at the end and I, that drives me nuts. So I get the straight leg, straight leg uh, micro jeans in my size. That's pretty much it. <laughs> I don't put a whole lot of thought into my jeans. I probably should because I there's probably a whole bunch of those. I see that there's a bunch of selection there they're probably there for a reason, so they're probably good. I have seen a lot of cool outfits with this selvage denim and and uh, boots. I recently got some Red Wing Rangers, so and they, they've been uh, pretty comfortable and durable boots. They, I wore them at the beach when that whole fiasco with the hybrid jar and the wave that took it away happened, and I, I uh, didn't get any water in my boots. I totally thought my I was going to walk out of there with slushy feet, but they kept it all out. That's cool. You're big into Levi's. Yeah, that's cool. I, I, I mean, it's one of those things where, um, only jeans I wear. Yeah. What's the length of your hair? Mine's getting a bit long and kind of drooping seeing you and Cam kind of short textured cut. Um, prison blues are my go-to jeans. They last forever. That's a good tip. I'll have to write that one down. Uh, the one asking about my hair, my hair length, um, take a look at my, one of my recent videos. It was just a couple videos back. It's about the forward quiff, and it uh, goes through the entire haircut, gives the full measurements. Um, it's actually shorter than, my hair's a little longer now than when I 
got cut obviously because that was about three weeks ago and so I think I think we took it down I don't really remember we have to review that video it's like one and a half inches maybe on top um, but you just go back and uh, take a look at that video it'll give you the full haircut everything we did and then the style too um, it's a texture there was a couple extra steps in the texturizing process she used two different types of shears you said something about a shampoo early what was the name um, groomed man uh, maybe it was groomed man co um, I uh, was talking about the new segment shampoo search that was my video from yesterday so if you haven't checked that out go ahead and jump on over that after you're done with this live stream it was a new segment I'm starting in examining uh, shampoos so there's a link to that brand in yesterday's video so check them out um, they're pretty good activated charcoal shampoo is very interesting to test that with the whole activated charcoal deal that was uh, quite interesting so uh, we've been on about 21 minutes now I think we should probably start to wrap up my voice is starting to get raspy because of this freaking cold and uh, I hope everybody enjoyed this short unboxing. Remember to check out Trendy Butler if you're interested and give me some feedback on this month's box if you uh, feel like it. And I'll, as always, I'll relay that over to them and then we can, uh, have you heard of the Simple Man store in Omaha? No, I have not. Do you still have plans to continue the Behind the Brew series? Yes. Um, hopefully next week I will have the next behind the brew up on the channel and as i've said in the past um it i i filmed a behind the brew with rock river for his clay and i did film it i have all the footage it's just taking you know it takes me a little while to put it together and i have other videos i need to comp to get um i have a whole list and a schedule that i follow so gotta get that Pretty sweet men's store, beard stuff, and hair product in the Benson area. Seems like you enjoy the place. The owner, oh, uh, I don't. Have, I don't get over to Benson too much. Um, I live. Uh, I live pretty. I live in Bellevue, so it's pretty far, pretty far away from Benson, uh, but not impossible to get there, obviously. So, um, yeah, I might check that out. What What do you do in terms of skincare? I, honestly, not a lot. I uh, use a bar soap in the shower, and I I wash with that. Um, the, I have, since I got it from Damon Barber, I have been using that honey wash and that I talked about in the video. I have been using that and then I use the beard smoothing serum and I use uh, a regular hair tonic and I, I, I work it into my skin and my beard. Um, uh, that's pretty much it. I don't use a, I haven't gotten into yet, I should say, a full line, full lineup of skincare products yet so it's on the agenda what do I shave with um, I have a safety razor um, yeah it's a pretty decent drive to Benson yeah straight down maple yeah yeah I know right where that is um, I use a safety razor so it's, it's the the razor with the the two sides a safety razor from Detroit grooming I believe I did a video on, if you look up the video on Detroit Grooming, they sent me this super nice um, safety razor. It's from Detroit Grooming, and it's a silver one, and I use that. I just shave pretty much right here around my neckline, um, kind of touch up around around here pretty much, and that's pretty much it. It doesn't even grow right here hardly, so I don't even do anything there. But that's pretty much what I shave with, and then as far as shaving cream goes, um, I have been for a couple months using the Lockhart's shaving cream got that and or just a uh, if I'm reviewing something or testing something out I think I've got a couple from a different from different types of barbers so I have a couple of those or I'll just use regular Barbasol um, shave cream with a little bit of uh, tonic in there too like a hair tonic um, I'll put some in there to keep it keep it nice and moisturized while while it's going it goes really quick just just this one line takes no time at all All right, no more questions. Well, everybody knows what to do. I'm going to close this up, post the video. You guys get on that giveaway. You got one week. Remember to subscribe, 
put your uh, name, where you're watching from in the comment section down below along with why you should be chosen. And uh, take care, have a nice day. Yeah, you too, man. Take care, have a good one. Thanks for being here so freaking early. That's uh, pretty awesome. And uh, remember in one week, I will choose two winners. One winner for the Texture Clay anywhere in the world. Texture Clay free from Damon Barber. And then one person will win the World Traveler free anywhere in the world from Damon Barber. So thanks again for stopping on to the live stream and hanging out with me. And I will see you guys here in a couple days with my next episode. Take care. I'll see you guys next time.